Hello and welcome to episode 10 of season 2 of my Worm Unlimited tutorial Let's Play series. This episode is going to be on harvesting and raising clay. I want to thank Juden, Juden Jensen oops, and Wayfarer for reminding me about uh, that you can raise the clay. I mean, I knew you could, I just forgot whereabouts you had to raise it so I thought well if I can figure it everyone can forget and as um, we're starting off this new series I thought this is a good place to pull it near the beginning of the series so as you can see I've been digging and Jude Jensen mentioned that e between every 50 to 100 digging actions it will go down slightly so to dig the clay then go to the center of four tiles of clay that are around you let's close these windows so you can see and then activate your shovel and just dig I've got a hotkey set which makes it easy now I want to build a smelter so I'm going to need 20 uh, clay I have to have clay in the um, bulk storage bins but I'll just dig some more up so because it's every 50 to 100 actions digging actions that's why you don't actually notice it but if you think about it you're taking a piece of clay from each of the four tiles so between 100, 50 and 100 actions between all four drops, drops it down uh, right, so let's just get 10 more clay and then we can raise this resource back up so the water doesn't show. And I'm going to put the clay just in the cart. In fact, I want it to get... Um, let's put it in there. Right, okay, to raise the clay, just need some dirt, which I've got on my wagon. Not allowed to do that, is it? Because I'm too far. Probably. Okay, so we'll grab some dirt. Um, how much would be enough? Let's try 11. And I'm going to drop them one at a time. I'm going to go to the centre again of the four clay tiles and what I'll do is just drop on ground, not as a pile but on ground. You see look bump, it's still clay and so I'll drop another one because there's still a bit of water there. And there you go, so it's just raised it back up. It's, oh, look, it's not flat all the way around but there you go so that's what you can do and what I can even do drop another one because it doesn't have to be flat this time and another one so that way when I start digging I won't get to the water let's just see do another one That way I don't have to keep worrying about coming and dropping dirt. I'll be able to dig this for a bit now. In fact, let's just drop all four. There we go. Right, so I can do plenty of digging on this now before the water shows again on it. And then I can just dig, uh, drop more dirt when need be. Okay, so here endeth the tutorial side of this episode. Now let's get to uh, playing. Right, so what I want to do is I want to build a smelter. That's why I needed some more clay. And to build the smelter, I'm going to need 50 bricks, oh, 50 clay, and 5 sand. So I can't actually build the smelter yet because I haven't got no sand. So this episode is going to be a, a bit on exploring because I need to find sand. And usually you can look under the water to find sand but I don't think there is any around here so I'm going to need to explore a little 
but I haven't got a problem with that. So I'm going to explore over in this direction. And I only need to dig one piece of sand. Because with sand, if you do four dirt tiles, get four dirt tiles, drop the sand in the centre, like I dropped the dirt in the centre of the clay, it'll then turn all four tiles into sand. So you only need to dig one sand, and then you just find somewhere where you want to dig. And you can dig it all up. Oh, what's this? A young wild cat. Now, I actually want to fight this so I can get a pelt. And maybe get a bit of fighting experience. Not that I guess I'll get much. But yeah, good way to get pelts. So what I like to do is have it in my pocket when I butcher it. So let's take it. Activate my butchering knife. Oh, it's my carving knife that's in there. Now let's see if I can get a pelt. Excellent, that's better than what I've currently got, which is only 18. Yeah, nice. I'm going to carry on using my 18, um, and what I'll do is to store the pelt for now. Right, okay, let's go sell the corpse to the token. see sand in the distance there so that's where I'm gonna head probably gonna come across scorpions ah well I probably won't be able to get over there actually hmm, let's see how far we can get Looks like I've been busy over here as well, flattening. 
that was when I first arrived on the server. There's no hellhounds or anything to give me a bad day. Yeah, I want to make a smelter um, because I want to be able to, I've been mining with iron and I've got 300 iron that I now need to smelt. Using the forge is unpractical really because you can only do about 20, 18 at a time. Whereas if I build a smelter I can do 100 ores at a time. So the smelter is definitely the way to go. Um, and I need lots of iron because... Well, I'm leaving Jane and Kellon, so I hope I'm not going into another faction, otherwise you're going to see the games to getting chopped up. Um, yeah, so I want to smelt her because I'm going to be doing lots of um, smithing. I want to do the locks. Oh, there's much closer Pete than that to me. Pete's my favourite for fuel because peat weighs 10 uh, kilograms, so you only need to dig two peat and that then will uh, fill up your furnace oven, campfire, smelter with fuel, just two peat. So perhaps I'll grab some of that on the way back. There's some seals. More importantly, there's some sand. Cool. So that weren't too bad. I didn't have to go too far. So I want to demonstrate what I was talking about with sand. Um, so I'm going to dig some up. Like I say, I only need one. So in fact, I'll dig just one heap of sand. Now I'll head back. Actually, actually, what I'll do is just get a couple more to be on the safe side, just in case I make a mistake, which there is every possibility. So actually, I'll dig, dig up uh, six of them. Because I'd hate to have to come all the way back over here. Oh, a little trick as well um, while I'm doing this. So you see the water come through. So exactly the same as the clay, except with a little difference. So to raise the sand back up, what you'd do is, let's get two dirt. So I'll drop. Uh, one dirt on the ground and you'll say oh no you've turned it all to dirt you've lost your sand I'll drop another dirt or oh, one more don't panic right okay now we'll go back to the sand drop just one sand and there you go all the sand's back and that's basically what I'm going to go and now do on my deed so you see, that's how sand works. 
infinite supply of sand as soon as you only get you only need one sand to have an infinite supply of it right let's have, actually I would like to get some um, sprouts if I can because I do want to have an olive grove Probably all too young. Oh no, get one there. So yeah, this is a great place for picking olive sprouts. Oh, is that all I'm going to get? I have a couple more over there. Right, what I want to do now is head back to my deed and start doing some uh, meditating because my affinity is in meditation. See, look, under meditating, I've got an affinity for meditating. So I want to do that because I want to get to um, Enchanted Grass, which is in the Path of Love. Right, that's a bit done now. Hmm. Well, I certainly don't need no willow sprouts. I'd like a birch if I can get one. We yeah, don't have many birch. No, I can't. That's a shame. I guess I can come back another time. With um, olive trees, when you have an olive orchard, they tend to uh, spawn spiders around them, which is good for training your combat skills. Oh, that's very old. I won't chop it down. Actually, I've, if I was doing this correctly, if I get close enough to the tree, it tells me whether it has a sprout or not. But you have to get right over it, like that. Yeah, there's another sprout. This is good, I'll be able to plant some birch on my feet. Yes, yeah, so you've got to go right over the tree and then it tells you whether it's got a spot. Oh, it is sprouting, cool. Saves me right clicking to check. So peat is the best fuel, in my humble opinion. Why? Because you only need two peat in order to do fill up your forge, your furnace, smelter, campfire with fuel. So I'm going to dig some of this. Because it's on the way back. Oh, I need to put that sand in the crate. Let's put it in the small crate. Yeah, this is definitely the best fuel. All wood chips. 
Although the wood chips I like to use for making kindling. I just usually will grab as much peat as I can if I go down. You can see look, the weight is 10 kilograms, so you need to do two of them to fuel up your campfire forge furnace oven. Do some meditating. Good for the karma. Well, it makes me karma. Right, let's head back. Yeah, I was lucky. And usually, you'll get a load of. Creatures come down, trying to give you a bad day. Hopefully, I'm not going to see any crocodiles for a long, long time. And trolls. I need to make myself an armor set. Now I'm just going to go for plate armor, I think. Keep it on my cart. And whenever I go exploring like this, I can just wear it. But when I'm working around my deep, I certainly won't wear it. It slows down. But it'd be nice actually to train up all my skills to so do chain smithing as well. So yeah, I want to do armor smithing and I want to do chain and plate and even shields. Well happy about getting my pell, upgrading my pell. 39, that should take me up quite high. So I should be able to improve items past 60 now. So that's good. That means my pickaxe is going to get upgraded. And my wood axe, my hatchet. Well, all my tools. Yeah, I must carry on doing this path. I want to do it all the way around, all the way into the distance, that distant mountain there. Oh, I found something else out as well while I was fishing, net fishing. Did you know, when you're net fishing, the net will fit the amount of fish in it that is equals to the amount of actions that you can do so i can do five actions i can dig five times or i can chop trees five times or i can botanize and forage five times so that means i can now fit five fish into my fishing net there's an interesting little fact for you because when I was doing it fish, net fishing the episode I think I was only on three actions so that's why it would only fit three fish in the net but now I'm on five actions I found that I got five fish in the net so it can only be tied to your actions Yeah, tars for my lanterns. That's uh, what you've got to use for the lanterns. It'd be a waste to use peat, so I use tar. Right, let's sort these scraps into their right borders. I'm not going to do planting yet until I've got all the land flat 
once I've flattened it all out then we can have some fun doing orchards. Oh look at that, I've got a 95 sprout. Very nice. Seventy-one. I think I'll put that in there. Actually, I don't want to lower the quality level of the next bin. I tend to do that. Okay, the meat needs to go in the food storage bin. Pelts, you can't store. Else it get destroyed. But that's okay. It, uh, I'm going to keep it on my deed so then it won't rot. I think I can actually put it in my token. But then it might. Uh, but then I think they do take damage. Now I'll just drop it on the ground over here and it shouldn't then rot. I'm not going to drop this one. But actually, no, I will drop this one at the moment. Okay, here's my meditation rugs. I've got them set up 10 tiles apart. So I put one down on that tile, counted 10 tiles, and then on the 11th tile, I put down the other rug, as you can see there. Just remember, there must be 10 tiles between your rugs. Do I need to eat? Yeah, I should do. All right, leave this. Look at that, I've got two different buffs. Chain and traps. Oh look, trapped traps affinity. <laughs> you suddenly realise you have more of insight into traps. Matt was eating the sardine meal. Okay, let's do some meditating. So my skill in meditating is one. We need to do something about that. Because I want enchanted grass. So nature and meditate. You start meditating. You fall into a trance. This place reminds you of home for some reason. Well, maybe because it is home. Yeah, it takes a little while, but the end results are worth it. When I can do enchanted grass, I won't have to keep um, growing crops on my farm because my food storage bin's getting full. <laughs> I mean, I could do a full a food storage bin for each crop, but I think that would be getting a bit excessive just for me. Um, yeah, because you can fit over a thousand of each resource in there, so that's plenty. So I want enchanted grass so I can just plant that and then leave the server on so the creatures and the trees and plants can mature and grow. Because everything's young. It's good with the animals though, like the aggressive animals, because it means that I'm able to fight most of them. Now let's see what sort of a jump up we're going to get having an affinity in it. And I hope it don't fail. <clears throat> if I remember correctly, it can fail. But that might just be on higher levels. Oh, 
Oh, there's the timer. Let's just finish this. Yeah, it's going to take me a long, long time to get to Enchanted Grass. A long, long time. Oh, there we go. So I've got two points. So now what I'm going to do, come down to this end. So it's 11 tiles away. And this is my beautiful rug. And then I'm going to meditate here. Now there, I can keep going back and forth between these two rugs until the skill, oh did I fail? until the my meditation skill gets to a certain point and then I have to leave it longer um, off the top of my head I ain't got the details but I have covered meditation in season one of Worm if you want all the details on that oh what's going on with this I guess you just can fail a lot. There you go, so I've fallen into a trance. Yeah, so if you want to know, to know all of the details on meditation, just search my channel for meditating, and you should find the episodes in Season 1 that I did. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep you safe. Thank you for watching, and have a fantastic day. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Goodbye.